Welcome to Empowering Innovators, the show where we talk about innovation the startup way. My name is Ruth Hendricks. I'm your host for this episode. So you saw two uh, competitors merging, but do you spend a lot of time watch, keeping a close eye on your competitors anyway, or do you just follow your own instinct and, and your own road? Well, we are in very much in close contact with our merchants. Yeah. So um, we listen very carefully to their needs, which could be, oh, we want to go to a new market. And uh, often there's an overlap in merchants' rollout. Yeah. So that would be a reason for us to do it. Sometimes we see certain patterns emerging uh, and, and focus on that. In retail, we saw that merchants are struggling with, I'm selling online. I have people coming in in store, but my physical terminal in store doesn't know what happened online. Actually, that should have been right. with a single provider that connects everything. Yeah. And uh, so that's what we did. So it's not really merchant demand, but we said, okay, we need to be physically in stores. You know, with the brick that's at the counter, that black box, yeah. um, we support that. And that leads to such a, such a nice consumer experience. I recently had it that I bought something and I read online, I returned it, and I didn't need to say anything. You just dip your card. Yeah. They say like, okay, yes, I have it here. We yeah. refunded the money to your card. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. And that's fantastic. Yeah. It should be that way, yeah. but yeah. it's not yet. And if it is, you're really surprised. And I noticed that as well. And in the future, it'll be even easier, most probably, because you'll just dip your phone instead of a card. But the phone will yeah. would, would, um, would, would be connected to the card. Yeah, because in my phone, I pay with my yeah, phone, yeah. the card number is stored, so you'll right. be recognized on your payment method, right. whatever it is. So, uh, Atya now has these large uh, clients, like you mentioned, eBay, Uber, Facebook. Uh, but when you started, of course, uh, life was a lot harder. I, I assume that in the beginning, uh, it wasn't easy to bring large corporate uh, clients uh, in and that you started with some smaller companies? or. Um, we were somehow we were at the beginning already very focused on those large merchants right. so we had did our first live transaction in the summer of 2007 yeah in 2008 we were there at west coast us pitching at those largest uh, accounts uh, telling like this is what we're building um yeah. and already generating interest for that they felt it was a bit early yeah um but we, we had this feeling like this will be, if you if you pick this choice, it's like driving a brand new Maserati out of the yeah, garage. That's yeah. how it will feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's uh, uh, that turned out that way. But the, the road to get there, um, we were first very popular with um, in the gaming. So casual gaming, not betting, but in, in, in games where you could buy a skin or a hat or something small. And we could do that very much, very nice in game. Yeah. And because nobody really, I mean, if you if you uh, if you print a photo album, you want to pay, and you're going to put a lot of effort yeah. in it. Yeah. If you build some, if you buy something silly in a game, it should go really frictionless. Yeah. 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 So there we got our first customers, and that's where we had our first traction. Uh, going back to the beginning beginning of this interview, you uh, mentioned uh, being a mountain, climb, uh, mountain climber. Mountain climbers are risk averse, but I've also once heard that if you start, if you want to climb a mountain, you shouldn't just look at the top all the time, but you take it step by step, and one day you'll notice that you're at the top. If you look at where Atjan is, uh, is today, how far up that mountain are you at this moment? Um, yeah, I think we only covered a fraction of what we can do if we if we uh, execute well. Yeah, and you're looking forward to uh, climbing uh, higher and reaching that top. Where's the top ultimately anyway? What's what's um, what's the end goal? There are still players. Uh, we processed last year 159 billion, which it's always difficult to, to quantify how much is that. Yeah. There are players who process a trillion. Okay. So they are... A f so there's room for growth. So that factor, at least we should be able, I don't give a timeline with it, but, but that sort of, I don't think it's justified that other players yeah. um, uh, are, are of a size. I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to grow there. Just a few fast questions, yeah. uh, Peter. <laughs> okay, that's an easy one for you. So uh, what's your favorite book? Very, very difficult. I'm uh, I'm part of that group of dys dyslectic entrepreneurs. And your favorite innovator? 
uh, Elon Musk. And what inspires you mainly? Um, how Elon each time... I mean, it's now more difficult because he became a little bit controversial with how he each time really against all odds uh, with his uh, SpaceX program, with the cars, yeah. with the batteries itself. Yeah. It's unbelievable how each time he pushes the border. Is Tesla a customer of yours? Y- yes, they are. Okay, so that must be great. So what makes, you, what makes a good leader? Poo, you have to be very free of... Uh, uh, of of ego and uh, um, you need to be able you need what we put in the audience formula and that's also what I apply to myself winning is more important than ego and if you're a leader some people have their ego in the way whereas we are we are all very competitive yeah we have more winning that we want and whatever role it takes if I have to carry your bag for you to close yeah. the deal and I was there as a CEO the customer feels better with you you'll, you'll carry the back I'll carry the back so uh, what do you wish all people in your company should know what we call the Adyen formula yeah, yeah. And, and that's an eight a points eight bullet which points we describe the values of the company we we pick up the phone we don't email yeah. winning is more important than ego we have a list of those bullets which we explained a lot internally everybody should know them When you're hiring, what's more important, certificates or experience? Character. Your greatest achievement? Very difficult, my greatest achievement. I assume business-wise it's building Atjen. Yeah, but there's also an element of and there's a good chance that somebody else with that that hand of cards wouldn't have played it that well. But it's also an enormous amount of luck as how things play out. So if you make it your achievement, yeah. uh, I find that I find that risky well, to an, say an that old, was my achievement. An old mentor of mine said, you know, luck is for the for the for the people who work really really hard, and then you just enforce your luck. You work really really hard. I don't know. And uh, I find it difficult, the greatest uh, achievement. Finally, uh, define happiness for us. And not to ever worry about, uh, am I happy? Uh, what should I do to become happy? Yeah. But being, taking pleasure in what you do yeah. and, uh, not, and therefore parking that whole topic. Thank you very much again.